Jack Nicholson's character was obsessed with it in the movie The Bucket List. Kopi Luwak, the rarest beverage in the world. Take a whiff. If nothing else, it should smell expensive because Indonesia's Kopi Luwak is said to be the world's most expensive coffee. This rich velvety brew can cost as much as $50 a cup. Why? Because the supply is very limited in the world. That makes the price very expensive. In the Sumatran village where the beans are grown lives a breed of wild tree cat. These cats eat the beans, digest them, and then defecate. That's right, except the beans are grown in more than just one place. Kopi means coffee in Indonesian, and luwak is the wild Asian palm civet that eats the coffee tree berries and <clears throat> produces the rare beans. Because the coffee bean does come out of the bottom of an Asian palm civet, you can imagine the number of nasty names people have for this coffee. Crappuccino is one, for example. But the popularity of this coffee is no joke. Uh, we opened a, a cup Kopi Lua Cafe in 2002 and uh, currently we already have uh, 20 stores that provided the Kopi Luwak. Not to mention Kopi Luwak has long been selling all over the world. Henry Fernando is the managing director of Kopi Luwak's plantations and shops and has had to defend the brand. As the coffee's popularity boomed in Indonesia, two of the country's main Muslim organizations considered putting a fatwa on Kopi Luwak because the process appeared to be ritually unclean. But Fernando says after a bit of explanation about the bean when it's excreted, that all changed. It still has the, the skin, the inner, inner layer, and also we do the cleansing process before we do the uh, processing and roasting. So it's totally not, not a problem. And uh, right now the Kopi Luwak is certified for halal. And it's a heck of a lot less expensive in its home country than elsewhere. How much is this cup of coffee going to cost? Uh, it's about uh, $8, $8, US dollar. Mm -hmm. It's a bargain when you consider 50. Ah, you are surprised, eh? So let me ask you, would you pay 50 bucks per cup for this again? Well, I don't think so. <laughs> That's directly, right? <laughs> but eight dollars, yeah, yeah. No. I do like it. Compared to other kinds of coffee, it has a more distinctive coffee taste and aroma, this Jakarta resident says. I feel it's the type of thing you have to do once, at least. <laughs> After waiting two minutes for it to brew in its special cup, the rich flavor definitely leaves this first-timer craving more of one of Indonesia's treasures. Sarah Seidner, CNN, Jakarta.